once again, I'm having issues with this computer. As you can see, it's not in my room right now. It's in the garage, torn apart once more. However, uh, so I was just playing uh, some Evo on it, and I started getting this weird crashing issue. Then I moved over to uh, Puyo Puyo, and I started getting that. What the heck? That doesn't look right. So then I went back to Evo, and I got that. What the heck? That does not look right. And, uh... One... <laughs> yeah, that. So anyway, I got this with my capture device. Um, it started doing that crap. Um, I tried putting a different CPU in there. I put in a 33 megahertz uh, DX CPU in there just to see if it was the CPU. So I didn't really want to start digging into it again. Of course, that didn't work, and it gave me that. And, um... I'm not sure what the heck. So... Another thing that was noticed is that when I started up, you can hold down four different keys. It's like, uh, well, one of them I can't even say, so I'm not even going to bother, but it shows you the CPU and the clock. So as you can see, my memory is six. I took the uh, expansion board out. My memory is 640K and uh, three megabytes of uh, upper memory, I guess you could say. But. Um, it was pointed out to me that my model here, which is this one right here, is supposed to have 5.6 megabytes, so 5 megabytes with 640K. And um, obviously that's not what I'm getting, so I'm getting some sort of memory issue. And um, that's kind of a problem. So with the aid of some people on Discord that are more knowledgeable than I am, I have uh, figured out what the problem is. There's a blog on the internet, uh, I can't really, it's jamarcade.net, where he repairs an AP2. And uh, he had the same problem as me, apparently. And uh, this is found by someone on Discord. Uh, it's doing the same thing mine is doing. And um, yeah, he, he got it working because the one of these uh, the power, wa uh, power cables or traces to the power of one of these TTL chips that uh, switched the uh, data bus from transmit and receive for the CPU. One wasn't connected, so it wasn't reading all the memory. So uh, that's where I sort of started. And just looking around this area on the board, well, I obviously checked all the uh, the power and ground and all that stuff for those pins, the, or those chips, and they're all connected. These are for uh, switching the data bus on the CPU. And there's, there's two on the back side also. Anyway, I'm not entirely sure what these do. But, so, I got to looking around and I saw this. Those traces, or those vias, don't look too good. And, um, I tested continuity from front to back, and no, they're not good. So, I was poking around on this thing for a good half hour or 45 minutes, when I, uh, figured out that those vias go from, I think, this, uh, memory expansion thing here to the uh, the DRAM and it actually comes out right there so what that means is that three of those pins on the DRAM is not being connected to the CPU so it's not counting the memory and, all, and uh, also possibly causing some uh, some uh, issues in programs so what we're gonna do is reconnect those using some Ethernet wire and uh, Hopefully that will fix my problem because I'm getting kind of sick of this thing having problems. When I'm done with this thing, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a Franken board. I'm, I have all this shit over here, then I have like three wires over here. It's going to be a mess, but hopefully that's going to work out for me. So this, this chip right here is for uh, communicating between this DRAM chip and the CPU, and this chip right here is for communicating between this DRAM chip and the CPU. I'm not sure what this one does. But, as you can see, if I go over to here, I think it starts on this one for bit zero. Yep, that's bit zero. Bit two, or one. Bit two. Bit three, and then bit four will start on the other side. Bit five. Bit six, bit seven. And that's all eight bits for that, that side here. So if we go over here, we can start on bit zero. We got bit zero. We got bit one. But bit th or two. There's bit three. There's bit four. And bit five. 
is nowhere to be found. Bit six is nowhere to be found. Then uh, bit bit seven is oh does bit seven work? No, bit seven doesn't work. Bit six doesn't work. Bit five doesn't work. Uh oh. My demonstration is falling apart. All right, I was I was poking the wrong one. See, zero, one, two, three, four. It's kind of hard to see from this far away. That's bit four. That should be five. That should be six. That should be seven. And then this last one I think is uh, ground or something. Well, not ground. It's common or whatever. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to solder bits uh, on this in this DRAM chip. I got this trace is damaged by this capacitor that leaked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, use this wire here and do that and it's probably going to look like crap but if it works it works obviously I'm not going to have my camera on because it's right in the way and this is going to be some uh, precision work and um, can't be having that well hopefully that's all I need to do with this thing so I'm getting kind of sick of messing with it although I still haven't completely fixed the audio because there's some annoying popping going on in the internal speaker but as long as the line out is good it's whatever but that's what it looks like after I uh, jump those over to there so I'm gonna slap this thing back together in its most basic configuration and try and power it up and see if uh, we indeed have the five megabytes which are promised to me on the uh, spec sheet for this computer well, here we go. Uh, we have it in our uh, most minimal configuration. <laughs> Power it on and see if it blows up. Uh-oh, that's a pretty good sign. So I do have the battery out. Let's see what RAM it counts. Oh, I got my full five megs. All right, so that's fixed. Now I wonder what else is gonna be broken on here. Holy shit, though, man. I thought that was going to be impossible to fix, but apparently I got it. So, um, yeah, all I got to do now is uh, make notes to not use my EMS. Well, actually, let's try that, actually. I'm thinking the way I got this uh, soldered in here, it might create a bus conflict when I uh, hook this up for extra memory. However, I don't think so, actually, if they're connected directly to those TTL whatever chips. Let's try this. Oh man, look at all that memory. Should have about 50, 49. Yeah, all right. So I have all my memory. So I think, I guess I'll play some more video games on here and see if anything else breaks.